Muscat. Brad Meister is racing in third. Fourth on the inside, Super Mystic as they head down the back stretch. Laredo Cosmos is gapped in fifth. And Blastaway Sabra waits behind him for Campbell. Now he's starting to gear up a bit as the pace is slowed as they move toward the half mile marker. And Son of Grace leads it. Super Mystic wheels up on the outside. He's second and gunning for the top. The half and 58 and one. Bama Bound is back in third position. Laredo Cosmos gapping cover in fourth. Brad Meister shuffled a bit in fifth. And Blastaway Sabra third over right now. But he's behind dull cover so far. About six lengths from the lead with less than three eighths to go. Super Mystic on the outside is applying the pressure. Son of Grace is fighting him off, though. And it's Son of Grace as they trot to the three-quarter marker. Blastaway Sabra moving up into fourth. Laredo Cosmos has gone off stride. Bama Bound still locked in third. Three quarters, 127 and three and they come to the top of the stretch son of grace has controlled the front end blast away sabra still with four lengths to make up takes dead aim and campbell is going to work on blast away sabra son of grace fighting him off so far though bama bound toward the inside third it's son of grace digging in blast away sabra with a determined rally closing in son of grace blast away sabra on the outside it is blast away sabra nailing son of grace tight for third 156 and four The winner, number eight, Blastaway Sabra. Second, number three, Son of Grace. And third was number five, Bama Bound. Eight, three, five. Returning to the winner circle, Ohio's Triple Crown champion, Blastaway Sabra. Three-year-old gelding by Striking Sabra. Out of Barra by Cumin. All by Dean Davis and Brenda Sugg from Wooster, Ohio and DeBerry, Florida. Kurt Sugg trains and John Campbell picks up his third win today. Blastaway Sabra now 11 for 16 on the season. This mile in 156 and 4 fifths to take the Lindy Farms. Late closing, three-year-old open trot. The Lindy Farms of Connecticut, the Antonacci family's stable. Of course, race the great Lindy's Pride. And they are also major movers and shakers here at the red mile as well the lindy farm sponsoring this three-year-old late closing event and for driver john campbell that's his third winner today his 36th of the meet here at the red mile during the fall grand circuit session now john was the leading money winning driver in the sport last year with 11.1 million dollars all time in 1990 he won 11.6 million which is the highest amount ever in standard red racing and Gordon Waterstone of the Horseman and Fair World reports that John is very close to eclipsing that mark already this year and it's only early October. So John Campbell who's won well over 1.1 million in purses alone in the 13 days at the Red Mile picks up win number 36 of the meet behind Kurt Suggs, Ohio champion, Blastaway Sabra. Making the winner circle presentation, Heather French, accompanied by Lexington Police Officer Chaplain John Walsh, who just returned from Ground Zero in New York City. And John, it's great to have you with us today here at the Red Mile. Also trackside, Carolyn and Danny Belcher. Of course, Carolyn Belcher, a state representative, all joining us today in the Red Mile winner circle.